So it's time for Pillow Talk. I'm Dr. Greg Gerstin with Align Wellness Center, and I help people to live amazing, fantastic lives. Today, we're gonna to talk about what you should look for in a pillow to help in creating the best sleep environment for you so you can get a great night. Um, I've been working with people to remove the obstacles in their lives that are preventing them from living amazing, fantastic lives, and sleep is one of the foundations we need to allow our body to heal, rest, and recuperate. However, for many people, the positions that we're putting ourselves in do not support a restful night's sleep. So when we're in that restful night's sleep, we need to make sure that the part of our body that tells every other part of the body what to do knows and can do that. So that part of our body is the brain. Now the way that the brain talks to the rest of our body is by sending energy down our spine, out the nerves to every tissue, organ, and gland. So it's imperative that when we're sleeping, we're allowing for the spine to be lined up straight in a neutral position. So our body doesn't need to spend extra energy on managing its position. Then from the side, we need to make sure that the head is above the torso, is above the hips, is above your feet. With that as well, the neck should have a nice curve in the, in the neck and then through the thoracic spine, a secondary curve, and a lumbar spine, a third curve. With that, there are so many pillows out there on the market, and I know this video is gonna get a ton of comments. Actually, why don't you just throw in, what's your favorite pillow, okay? Just write in the comment what your favorite pillow is and hit enter. I wanna hear it, I wanna see it. I might not respond to those comments, but if you've got questions about yours, we'll try to work with you on it. For many years, I wound up working with and recommending this type of a pillow. Many of you have seen it. It's a Tempur-Pedic type of a pillow. It's got two different dips on each side. And the thought and the philosophy behind this was really well, in that when you're lying on your back, you use this small rounded piece to wind up providing the curve so that your head can wind up resting on it. However, what it does though, is it makes your head about three inches in front of your shoulders. So when we're sleeping to the side, our head goes forward of our shoulders. Now, how many people have told their kids, their nephews, their friends, oh my God, look at that person's head. It's so far in front of their shoulders. Look at their posture, it stinks. They must be on their phone all the time or playing games. This is a problem that's occurred and the pillows and support that we use have been playing it forward and advancing it. If we are working at our computers all day, shouldn't we, when we sleep, be allowing our head to get back up over our shoulders to allow for our posture to be in a more relaxed position? I think so entirely. So if you're winding up using one of those beds that has the elevation component to it, we also got to talk because once again, if we're sleeping in a position like this where our torso is elevated, even if you've been guided to use it to help with sleeping or snoring, when we shift our torso forward like this, it can become less, it becomes more restrictive on breathing. Now, the airway may get through your throat a little bit better, but it doesn't get into your lungs better. We can do a little bit of an example of taking, crunching forward like this and taking a deep breath. And then I want for you to roll your shoulders back, stand up straight and do the same thing. That second breath is way deeper. And if it's not, we gotta talk right down below. Let's figure this out because that's not right. With the right pillow, and this is the one that I've currently found and have been recommending when it's appropriate for someone, it allows for the proper support of a curve in your neck, but then it allows your head to drop back. Now this is a really unique pillow in that when we look on the inside of it, right where your neck winds up resting, there's a little bit of a device. Now this device has been modeled off of a tool like this that winds up being modeled off of a tool called the cervical denerol. The cervical denerol has been shown in seven dual control trials to help remodel the curve in your neck or give you the proper bend in your neck when it's appropriate for you. Now this isn't appropriate for anyone, but the insert winds up coming in different resistant levels to make sure that you're on the right pillow for you. Finding the right pillow for you is more than just about how it feels. It's gotta be about how it looks and how it supports your body on the inside. This is a really powerful tool that has helped many of our patients to wind up sleeping better, many of our patients to wind up overcoming things like vertigo, headaches, migraines, shoulder pain, as well as things like sleep apnea. 
If you've got questions about whether this is the right one for you or what to do about your sleep position, go ahead and write them down below. I'm always answering them. If you know someone who's had problems with sleep, make sure you send them this little video so that they can get better understanding on how they need to be sleeping. Once again, my name is Dr. Greg Gersten, and I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your health.